finally got a gimbal. This was long overdue. Like, I don't know why I'm so like weird when it comes to certain technology. Like, I don't know why I just don't jump on a bandwagon. It's 2023, like you need a gimbal. If you're a tech creator, you make cinematic travel footage, vlog footage, you need a gimbal. We finally got a gimbal. It's really heavy, but I like vlogging with it because I like the fact that it can track me and I can walk in and out of rooms and it looks so smooth and it's, it's almost like you all are walking and talking with me right now. If you've been following my desk setup journey the past few years, there's no surprise that I love ultra wide monitors. I basically use the same ergonomic 34 inch monitor for about three years now. And in between, I think like the middle of like 2019 and then now I used one other 49 inch like super max ultra wide monitor for about six months and basically like the majority of 2023. Now I don't really have any complaints about using an ultra wide monitor or just having one display. I actually have been kind of opposed to a dual monitor setup past three years, but just like a lot of things in life, opinions, styles are fluid and they change as you evolve as a person and just as your environment and your needs as a creator or programmer change. Thank you to Alassian for sponsoring this portion of today's video. For those of you all who aren't familiar with Atlassian, Atlassian makes collaboration tools commonly used by software developers, project managers, and knowledge workers across industries. You can think of Atlassian as your one-stop shop for all things collaboration. Atlassian's mission is to help teams unlock their potential by empowering collaboration. Atlassian's a really nostalgic brand for me. I've already used their products. And I remember looking back my first year or two as a full stack software engineer, I utilized all three of Atlassian's collaboration tools. The first tool I ever used was Trello. And my team of three as an intern used it to add tasks and track bugs for our web accessibility app we were building. I used Confluence to create documentation around the UX research I was doing at the time, along with building more visibility around my work as a new developer. I frequently use Jira to assign tasks to myself, track bugs, work more collaboratively with product management to create development stories and keep track of our progress during each sprint. Lassian definitely helped streamline our workflow, which helped us reduce the miscommunication between our engineering team and product teams. If you'd like to learn more about how Atlassian makes what would otherwise be impossible alone possible together, be sure to click this link in the description box. All right, so for context, the Apple Studio display was the first monitor I purchased that replaced the 34 inch LG ergonomic monitor that I used for like the past three years. And I did purchase the Apple Studio display when it first came out. I tested it for about a week, filmed an unboxing video, and my verdict was that it was just a little bit too small for my liking. Then things changed. I didn't really find any monitors that I liked enough to replace my 34 inch with. And then my job actually changed where I wasn't doing as much front-end software engineering and I just felt like I didn't need a ton of screen real estate, which feels so hypocritical considering I actually just bought another display for a dual monitor setup. So one of the main reasons why I picked up the studio display was because of its brightness. This room is extremely bright, which is why I have the blinds down like 95% of the time when I film. I really liked the glossy finish and found that just easier on my eyes in such a bright room. The color accuracy is impeccable. This is a 5K monitor. It's super bright. It has 600 nits of brightness. For comparison, I'm pretty sure the 34 inch I was using had 280 nits of brightness. And this also supports up to 1 billion colors. And I know like tech specs may not mean a ton to you, but when you use this monitor and see it in person, it really does stand out amongst the competition. There's also this presence that every Apple product seems to have, especially the studio display. It blends in perfectly with my setup. I found that I actually enjoy using the 12 megapixel web camera. I use it for my Zoom calls and I find that I use the speakers way more than I anticipated. Overall, great purchase. I definitely don't have any regrets. If you have the budget, don't even kid yourself. It's honestly the best 27 inch monitor you could purchase. And in terms of brightness, color accuracy, just overall design, it's, it's just the best. And if you don't have the budget for the studio display, I definitely recommend checking out the A-Logic Clarity 27 inch monitor. A dual monitor setup is a great option for programmers and other productivity focused individuals. 
With two monitors, you can have multiple windows open at once, allowing you to multitask more efficiently. For example, you can have your code editor open on one monitor while referencing documentation or research on the other. This can save you time and increase your productivity. Having two monitors is one way I've increased my productivity and having more visibility of my work. Can't deny how convenient it is to have one monitor that is wider than it is tall, which is great for responsive web design and video editing, and of course, photo editing as well. While also having a vertical monitor that is perfect for analyzing data and reading through long programming files. The LG Dual Up Monitor is a 28 inch display with a native resolution of 2560 by 2880 and an aspect ratio of 16 by 18. It uses an IPS panel with a refresh rate of 60 Hz and supports HDR10. The display has no adaptive sync feature, has two HDMI ports, one display port and one USB-C port with display port alternate mode, along with a 90 watts of power delivery, which I'll be using a ton so you should have no problem charging up your MacBook Air. The stand is adjustable. It comes with the ergonomic stand, which is adjustable for height, tilt, swivel, pivot, and depth. It's designed for multitasking with a square double QHD 2560 by 2880 pixel resolutions and has a vertical split view function. And if you really wanna take control of your monitor display layout, I recommend downloading this app called Magnet if you're a Mac user. So like I just mentioned, this specific model did come with the ergonomic arm, so it costs about $100 more than the model that has the regular stand. This is the second LG monitor I purchased that comes packaged with an adjustable monitor arm. I personally prefer this arm compared to the one that was packaged with the LG Ergo 34 I was using previously. The pole has a channel you can fit up to about three to five cords for cable management, has a minimal design and a simple yet well-built clamp that makes it easy to install. You guys have probably noticed that I switched from a Bluetooth keyboard to this beautifully crafted wire mechanical keyboard from my friends over at Mode. The custom built keyboard is a part of their Sonnet series the top of the keyboard is white, bottom is silver mirror, which really adds a nice aesthetic and dimension to the keyboard. Multicolor accent, universal keyboard layout with a palm variant, along with having gray feet and a black silicon base. I have to admit that this is the highest quality keyboard I've ever used. The typing sounds are incredible. Build is crazy. I love everything about this keyboard. To make it simple for you all, if you're interested in this custom build, I have the build code in the description box that you could check out. That wraps up this dual monitor desk setup. So I've been using this desk setup for the past few weeks and I honestly can't see me going back to an ultra wide monitor anytime soon unless Apple drops a 32 inch studio display. And even if they do that, I could still see me using the dual up monitor as well, because it's honestly perfect if you're someone who's analyzing a lot of data, or if you're a programmer analyzing super long CSS files, JavaScript files, just programming files in general. Also, I wanted to note that the speakers I'm using are the Audio Engine A5 Pluses. My entire backdrop is IKEA, so IKEA pegboards, along with some pegboard accessories, and also I have these maple color IKEA floating shelves. So that wraps up today's video. Once again, thank you to Atlassian for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click this link to learn more about Atlassian, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.